Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nastasia. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. For today's video, I'm just sharing with you guys my top spring cleaning tips. It's that time of year again where it is time to spring clean. I personally love cleaning and organizing and decluttering, so I absolutely love this time of year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and without further ado, we can just jump right into it. So the first tip is something that is super, super important and will really set you up for success when it comes to spring cleaning, and that is to make sure that you are cleaning room by room. It's just more efficient for me in the past I would start cleaning and I would like jump around from room to room I would really get distracted and that would result in everything being like halfway cleaned it would result in things not fully being organized because I was switching around room to room and I wasn't giving each room the dedication that it needs so that is like the biggest tip pick a room that you're gonna start with fully finish that room before you move on to the next one like I said, I know it's easy to get distracted and I've definitely made that mistake before, but if you stick to that structure, trust me, things will turn out so much better. The next tip that I think is super important that you should keep in mind is spring cleaning is all about decluttering, minimalizing, and getting rid of things. So definitely keep that in the back of your head when you start the process. Know that it is time to get rid of those things that we don't need and that is where Mercari comes in. So I wanted to say a huge thank you to Mercari for sponsoring today's video. If you guys weren't aware, Mercari is is a selling app that makes it just super easy and convenient to sell just about anything. It also makes it very convenient to buy things as well. So I actually personally have used Mercari for several years now. So I have a little bit of a history with the app and I definitely know how to use it. It has been like a family thing within my family. We had like a family account where we would sell different things. So I personally love Mercari because it makes things super easy and simple for you. It's very easy to sell it, ship it out and earn some extra cash. You can use that extra cash for extra spending money or you can also use it to buy something else on the app I like to do both sometimes I kind of will get rid of a ton of clothes maybe replace them with some clothes on Mercari so I'm actually gonna share with you guys how easy it is to list from your phone we're gonna go through right now and I'm gonna take you through step by step how you can list something because I don't want you guys to be intimidated at all Mercari seriously makes this process so easy and so simple and I absolutely love it so we're gonna go ahead and just just open the app and what you're gonna click at the bottom is just the sell button and then there's gonna be a little button that says list an item you're gonna click on that so the first thing that you're gonna do is start off by of course adding some photos so you want to start off by taking some photos and then you can select which photos you are using for that listing the next thing that we're gonna do is add a title so I personally like to keep my titles super simple but make sure there are the keywords in there so it's going to come up in the proper search of what it is. So this in particular is a out from under hoodie and it is tie dye so I want to make sure that I include the brand, the description, and what the item actually is. So I'm probably going to title this out from under tie dye hoodie. In your description which is next I just like to uh, add the condition again so people will see it. As you can see later on, it is going to actually ask us for the condition, but I like to reiterate that in the description box just so people see it two times. So I will put if it is used. So this item in particular is gently used. I'll put the brand, I'll put the size, and then a small um, description. It's optional to add the three hashtags, but I would recommend doing it. So I'm probably just going to put in here hashtag hoodie, the brand, and whatnot. Then in the category, it already actually populated what kind of item it was, which is great. I love that feature about Mercari. The brand is out from under. Again, this is what I was talking about, the condition. You will select the size, color. Sometimes I add it, sometimes I don't. This one in particular is multicolor, so I'm gonna leave that off. So you actually have the option to choose if you want to pay for the shipping or if you want the buyer to pay for the shipping. Um, I usually will charge the buyer just because I do tend to list my items very low. Um, you could always list it higher to cover your shipping costs, of course. And then you set your price, and I love that it kind of shows you what stuff has sold for. So you kind of will have an idea of what you can list it for. And then all you have to do is hit list, and you are all done. So that is how simple it is to list something on Mercari. Now, it doesn't have to be clothing. You can totally list other things on there, home decor, sporting goods that you have, pretty much anything around your home. And to me, spring cleaning is definitely more fun and when you have an incentive. And I love the fact that I can kind of get rid of stuff and get some money back because I end up buying a lot of things sometimes and I don't have a use for them 
and it's great to get some money back and not just have to fully lose out on the money that you spent on the item so i personally love mercari i definitely think you guys should try it out if you haven't already i will have it linked in the description box down below the next tip i have is to establish a new cleaning habit and i would recommend establishing a new cleaning habit that you guys can keep in your routine all year round so mine is really keeping those dishes clean and washing the dish after you use it now this is something that i find more recently has just like saved my kitchen cleanup and it's made cleaning the kitchen so much easier i actually have this like over the sink dish rack kind of thing that makes it really convenient to wash a single item or a few items that you have just used and that has really helped me to again wash the dishes after i've used them there's a place for them right there to dry and i'd love to hear from you guys what is a cleaning habit that you guys are going to try to incorporate within your cleaning routine let me know in the comments down below because i could definitely use to pick up a few other new cleaning habits as well and i think the most important cleaning tip there is is to keep in mind that everything can't be done in one day if you want to do a good Good and thorough job so make it more of like a week long project maybe even two weeks depending on what your schedule is i kind of have to work everything within my work schedule to get things done because i am a one person show i film edit upload do all the promoting do all of my emails like i do everything myself i don't have any help at the moment so i have to work that cleaning schedule into that and i know some of you guys probably also work full time so don't beat yourself up about that and not being able to get everything done in one day you're definitely going to see those better results if you take your time especially when it comes to decluttering and getting rid of things it's not always so easy to just do that right of way um, keep in mind i've been trying to declutter and get rid of things for the past few months now and it is a very long process it's it's not something that can happen overnight. So just keep that in mind when it comes to cleaning. I would recommend working out some sort of schedule on paper, knowing that you're going to dedicate maybe 30 minutes here, an hour here. Maybe you do have a full day on a Saturday that you can take to clean, but it's probably not gonna be done in that same day, just because like I said, cleaning and decluttering can be like a huge project. And if you want it to be done properly and thoroughly, you are going to need a little bit more time than just one single day. So those were all of my my spring cleaning tips that I wanted to share with you guys today I felt like those were most important and definitely going to set you up for success when it comes to spring cleaning thank you again to Makari for sponsoring today's video I hope you guys enjoyed watching this if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye